but own a 210 inch wide JNL, you can run a 210 inch wide material and you could also run the very next order eight inches wide. Coming up too early with the backfold hook, you're going to mark the board, you're going to create fault scores. Coming up too late, the box would outrun the fold hook and you wouldn't be successful folding that flap either. And the ability to move the hooks in and out and the carriages in and out where we support that, that shaft can, can change the resonant frequency of the, of the entire system. So, you know, we can get it up set up for one box or for one run. And you know, if we tune out the resonant frequencies at that point, it's fine, but then when you change for the next box, things can get unstable and then we're back to square one. The vibration suppression while you're running can determine what those resonant frequencies are, can dampen them out. It allows us to, to tune the system hot so that we can maintain high performance at high speed, but still not get those frequencies that cause it to become unstable. I think most automation suppliers will advertise. This is probably the first time I've actually seen it work. <laughs> We've been using this Kawa now for eight years, and I could probably count on one hand how many drives and motors we've replaced. The experience I've had with Yaskawa has been nothing less than top-notch for us, for Yaskawa, and for our customers.